how much content do you have to put out there before you start making money? This is a, a question, a very good question that one of my viewers asked me and I wanted to share my, my thoughts with you on this. So what I've noticed is that there really is no tipping point before you make, let's say, you've got to make a thousand videos before you start to make money or make enough money. No, there's no such tipping point. Of course, the more videos you make, the more true fans you tend to build over time, and more true fans means that a few more people will start to buy more of your services and your products. But the thing is, you can speed all that up much more if you remember three factors. The first factor is resonance. What I mean is that if you sell what people want to buy, you're going to get more sales, okay? So many of us are selling what people don't want to buy, and we don't even know what our people want to buy or not. Do you know how you can find out? You can find out by talking to them and asking them the question, hey, what are you buying in the realm of the kind of thing that I provide? And you should describe what that is. Find out what they're buying in the realm of what you provide, and then you can then... Let's say you are a coach. Let's I, you, I'm use that example. Let's say you're a coach, and then you talk to your one of your audience members. Hopefully, you can talk to 20 of them. You talk to your audience members, and you find out, what kind of coaching have you purchased? Or what kind of therapy? Or what kind of retreats have you been to? Something related. And they go, oh, you know, I've been to coach. I, I've done coaching around this particular relationship challenge. Or I've done coaching around this particular career difficulty that I've had. Once you hear what they're spending money on, that is a huge clue for you to say, how can I shape my skills and my talents to offer that kind of thing for people as well? How can I shape my modality to serve that problem that people are really dealing with right now? Okay, so that's number one is resonance. Sell what people want to buy. And in fact, what they are, what they are buying. Because if they like you, if they've been watching your content, that means they like you and they'll buy it from you. If only you sold that, but you're not selling it. So please sell it. Okay, resonance number one. Number two is sampling. Okay, so the example I like to use. Let's say I went to Costco and I see a bunch of veggie burgers, a, a pack of 12 veggie burgers from Amy's. And let's say that I have a good feeling about Amy's brand because I've seen Amy's over the years. I trust that brand just like your audience trusts you. Okay, your audience trusts you just like I, tr I trust the Amy's vegetarian food line brand. Okay, so I trust Amy's. But I don't want to buy a pack of 12 burgers because I don't really know if, yes, yes, I like Amy's, but I don't know if I like those 12 veggie burgers. So instead, well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to go to another grocery store and find a pack of two, a pack of two Amy's <laughs> burgers and buy it to see if I like it before I go to Costco and save money and buy 12. So what about your business? Do you offer a pack of two or three instead of selling 12 coaching sessions and that's kind of what you emphasize? The other thing is a free sample is even a, a, a first way. Grocery stores, they offer free samples. Here, try this veggie burger bite. See if you like it before you buy even a pack of two. Do you see what I mean? So what about your free samples? Do you offer that? You might want to comment below and let others watching this know. What kind of free sample do you offer? Okay, so that's, that's number, two, number two. Number one is resonance. Sell what people want. Number two is offer them a free sample because that's tasty. And secondly... Offer them a small pack that allows them to buy something easier before they invest so much with you. Okay, Resonance, sampling, and the third one is visibility. So many of you are posting content, and it's wonderful to do that because your content is really good for your own growth and growth of your audience. But you aren't often enough posting about your services, especially your free sample. You're not telling people about your free sample. And so there's not enough visibility for your free sample, and so not enough people know about it, or they, don't, they forget about it. So please post your free sample, the thing that gives them a really good taste of the, the work that you do. Post that occasionally, let's say once a month. There needs to be enough visibility. Now, to get it out there even more, you might want to use Facebook ads and Instagram ads and collaborations. Okay, 
Facebook ads, Instagram ads, I have courses on those. And then collaborations, I have a course on that as well. But collaborations, Facebook, Instagram, that's a huge topic. I won't talk about that. But, but even just $30 a month, that's what I recommend to my clients to start with. Do you have $30 a month to spend on advertising for your business? I hope you'll say yes because $30 a month is so reasonable. To advertise your business, right? Facebook and Instagram ads are the best, uh, most efficient way to advertise your business that I know of. Uh, these days. So definitely 30 bucks a month. Okay. And if you want to do it right, you want to do it my way. I teach an entire course on that to help you spend the money much more wisely and much more effectively. Collaborations is the other way, which is to get together with other small business owners. You share their free sample and they share yours. And if you're interested in collaborating, just comment below. Hey, I've got this free sample. If anyone interested in collaborating, I'll share your free sample if you share mine kind of thing. So resonance, sell people what people want, discover what they're buying, and then sell more of that. Frame your skills and services and products around what they're buying. Number two, sampling. Make sure that you are giving tasty free samples, give them a good idea of what you do, how you do it. And third is visibility. Are you sharing the sample often enough? And if, and, and, or are you buying Instagram and Facebook ads to share the free sample? Are you using collaborations to do that, to get the word out about that? Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Um, my name is George Cow. For those who don't know me, I'm an authentic business coach. I love to, to talk about how to build business from a place of higher values, uh, to do it in a way that we can really enjoy more. So I hope this is helpful to you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me.